you ever get an idea in your head that just won't go away? And the only way to do something about it is to make that idea happen. Yep, me too. Hi, I'm India. I'm lucky enough to live three minutes from the sea on the Kent coast in Hythe and always feel most present and connected when I'm by the water, especially on my paddleboard. But this connection to the water has redirected me to a problem that I can't ignore, and it's not a pretty one. Us humans are damaging this beautiful world with litter. Damaging it not only for ourselves, but more importantly for the flora and fauna we share it with. I do, however, believe small acts can amount to big changes. And this is where that idea I mentioned earlier started. I wanted to raise awareness to the problem of plastic pollution while sharing a solution and fundraise for a beach clean board at my local beach. And so I packed up my paddleboard and litter picker and made my way to the start of the Royal Military Canal in East Sussex to paddleboard the 28 mile length, litter picking as I went to raise awareness to the problem of plastic pollution and raise funds for a two minute beach clean board and hide. All right, so we've made it to the top of the canal at pet level. Just pumped up my board. It's still started raining, but it's only meant to rain for the first, I think like half an hour or something, and then a bit of cloud, and then hopefully the sun will break through. Now we're just gonna get this show on the road. The Royal Military Canal was created as a major military defence during the Napoleonic Wars in the 19th century. But nowadays it's a haven for wildlife, fishermen, dog walkers, kayakers and paddleboarders like myself. So I'm just going to show you what I've just found. Chris Packet. And the rubbish just kept on coming from plastic bags to oil containers, bottles, tubs, and a balloon. This is gonna get caught up in the reeds. It could get caught up in the duck. A swan's leg could catch that. It's not cool, it's not cool. So I think it's always wise to think about our purchases right from the start. My paddleboard just kept getting heavier and heavier. the halfway mark now which is awesome so I thought I'd show you what I got on this stretch. Now this hmm, looks nice. There is a lot of stuff growing on it which means I think it's been in this canal for a long time. Um, it's pretty gross. Don't worry I am sanitizing my hands as much as I can. Um, and the main culprit on this stretch has been plastic bottles, plastic water bottles, whatever. It's just so unnecessary nowadays. Um, we can use reusable water bottles, especially in the UK, it's fine, we've got fresh drinking water. All right, on to the next stretch. Now, if someone could explain to me how a tyre ended up in the Royal Military Canal, then I would love to know. I have heard marathon runners say at some point after 18 miles they hit a wall. This is where the pains kick in and the mind says, I've had enough. Well, I was pretty much paddleboarding a marathon and it was at this point I felt myself paddling closer to that wall. Everything hurt. The adrenaline that carried me through was burning off and the wind had dropped. That beautiful southwesterly wind that had given me that extra push for most of the trip so far had died down. And it wasn't just the paddle power that increased. The litter did too. Look what I found on my way. So this is full on fisherman's wader, waders with Wellington boots. Now I'm kind of hoping that there's not a naked fisherman that went skinny dipping. <laughs> now it's no clothes. I don't think that's the case. Um, but yeah, it was very heavy to carry. But last stretch now, making my way through Hive and then onwards to the very end. So nearly there. It 
It was no surprise that as I ventured closer to Hythe Town, I found more litter. Where there are people, there is litter. Go figure. I wanted to do this paddle to raise awareness surrounding plastic pollution but also to fundraise for a two-minute beach clean board on Hive Beach that would encourage the community to do a simple two-minute beach clean when they walk past. It was amazing to see faces of people who had donated to this. It gave me that extra push I needed as the aches and pains set in. mission had given me time to reflect on the state of our planet and humanity's impact on it. I do believe small acts can amount to big changes. If we can all make conscious choices that are kinder to the environment, we can collectively make big changes together. So here it is, everything that I collected along the way. I have to say it's not everything I saw. There were some points when I had so much on the board that I couldn't carry anymore. Um, but it's a very good variety of what I found. It's mad and it's so sad to think that this is in the canal a lot of the time. I think it's just a sign to say, take your rubbish home with you. Think about what you're buying. Think about if you can choose alternatives that aren't in plastic. Thank you so much for your support. And um, yeah, you need to sort all this out now and then head home. All right, bye. Hey, so here I am trying to work out how to finish the edit of this film and so I thought well maybe I'll just tell you what happened next. So Hyde got its two minute beach clean board which was amazing. I've seen so many members of the community using it and sending me messages saying how great it is so that's been absolutely brilliant. I also ended up fundraising more money than I needed to. Um, so we've got money in the pot for a second board, which is brilliant. Hopefully we'll get that soon. Um, also, what happened to all the rubbish? Well, I wanted as little of it to end up in landfill as possible. So took it home, sorted it, recycled as much as I could. The time went to a children's outdoor education centre, which was awesome. And the wetsuit waders, well, they've been on quite a journey. I ended up giving them to Lorna Doyle, who's an incredible designer who turned the waders into a range of beautiful bags. She then showcased these bags at Canterbury Festival and sold them to the public with a percentage of profits going back to the fundraiser. Just amazing story of how trash can turn into treasure and I've actually got one of the bags here I use it as my makeup bag and it's a great reminder of the adventure that I've been on too so thank you so much to everybody who donated and supported keep doing those beach cleans street cleans forest cleans wherever you are doing your bit remember small acts can amount to big changes all right see you soon